Okay. Been a while since I did a live. Um, I'm just going to log into my Facebook page on my tablet so I can see comments if anybody jumps on. And I got my sound turned off. Okay. Hi, Steph. How are you? I did a quick post on Facebook a couple hours ago to say that I was going to do a live, but I didn't know if anybody would show up or not. It's been a while since I did one. It looks like my tablet's working, so that's good. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Allison. Thank you for coming. Um, so I got a really tiny um, Stampin' Up! order. Um, because I wanted to uh, order the, um, I think it's the Waves of the Ocean Designer Series paper. And I ordered two packs of it because I know it's going away. Um, and I checked, I checked um, about half an hour ago. And this is still available um, in Canada. Um, as far as the states or anywhere else, I'm not sure. Okay, I just got to go back out and come back in because I'm not seeing comments. There we go. Um, oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Steph. Um, yeah, because I, I wanted to order this paper before it's it's gone. And I don't know how much longer it's going to be around for. And again, in the UK or in the States, I don't even know if this is available, but I checked. It's still available in Canada, so I thought I would have a go. Um, like, make some cards. I don't know how many we'll get done tonight. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, I, I ordered two packs of that. And this is... Um, this is one side, and that's the other side. And, uh, this is going to make such pretty cards, don't you think? Should have ordered more than two, but I didn't want to go crazy. So there's the, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I'm not seeing comments. Oh, here we go. Here we go with not being able to see comments. Um, not even received my pre-order yet. Oh, really, Steph? That's a bummer. So I guess they did like the acrylic pour, and then they took pictures, and that's how they got these designs. Like, I must have been living under a rock when this came out. It was, I think, back in February when this, um what's available to order I I'm, well I haven't been very active either so I missed out but anyway I'm so glad I was able to order this paper so I thought you know like with whale of a time um, bundle that this would be really fun to play with um, and then we got the new um, Waves of in Inspiration, um, this one here, it'll look really good with this. Um, we got a couple of C sets that are going away, so maybe I'll play with those tonight too because they're going to be gone soon, which makes me sad because I, I, I just haven't been playing with anything lately. So I got two packs of the paper, and then the only other thing I ordered was the new in color of the Tahitian, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tahitian Tide. I got the cardstock, I got the ink pad, I got the refill, and I got the blends. And that's probably the only in color that I'm going to order. This reminds me of the Tempting Turquoise that was out, you know, quite a few years ago. That was one of my favorite colors. So when I seen this, I'm like, yes, I have to get it. Have to get it. You ordered it on the 6th of April? Oh, Steph, that's a bummer. 
I know my last order that I got, um, they said it was going to ship on, I don't know, Tuesday, a couple weeks ago. And it ended up being delayed a whole week. So, but, but my quarter's already paid for. And the stuff that was in the new annual catalog, um, the stuff that I wanted that was on my wish list was not available for pre-order. So I stocked up on inks, refills, and cardstocks, glue, um, rhinestones, because all those prices are going up. So I wanted to stock up on, on that. So um, I'm probably not going to order any more stamp sets until the new mini catalog launches. And it's celebration. Because I can't afford to do it any other way. I'm not established. But I'm okay with that. Um, quite a few sets carried over. Um, which is good. So I have not... Um, I just opened my box like two minutes before I came on. So I don't have anything prepped or anything. Uh, but I just want, I thought it would be fun to play with, you know, maybe these new colors and play with the paper. I'm so excited. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to keep going out and come back in because I can't see comments. Hi, Patty. You're from Washington? Thank you for coming, everybody. I really appreciate it. I, I just, I've been idle. Um... I mean, I, I slowly started um, uploading some stuff to YouTube like the past three weeks, but I really want to get back into my Facebook Lives. The problem is my hours are always changing at work, so it's really hard for me. I want to do the same day time slot every week, and my, my schedule is always changing. Like sometimes I work Monday morning, sometimes I work Monday afternoon. Sometimes I get off at 5, sometimes I get off at 6, so it was just too hard for me to plan. So I'm actually thinking about doing lives on Saturday. So if you can comment what time would work for you guys, and then I'll, I'll see what happens this Saturday, and we'll, we'll, we'll try to do every Saturday. Um... Because I really need to get back into it. And I miss chatting with you guys. Like, I was look, watching some of my old YouTube videos today. And it was so much fun. You guys cracked me up. Okay, so what paper should we choose? Oh, this is so gorgeous. Let me see. I'm going to do a quick scan again. And... So I'm thinking either this one, this one, or this one, out of these two, I'll let you guys pick, left or right, and I think my tablet's a little bit um, behind my phone. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. I gotta go back. And, oh, this is gonna draw me bonkers going back out and come back in. Okay, Saturday is good and whatever, 10 p.m. I think you're four hours ahead of me, Steph. So I was thinking like maybe 11 a.m. my time, which would be 2 p.m. your time. Hi, Gail. Nice to see you. I got to get back into my lives again. 
Okay, so should I do, and I'm winging it on the fly. I just got this paper today and it's still available in Canada, so I thought I'd have a play with it. Isn't it gorgeous? So I have Whale well Done. I'm pretty sure this one is leaving and I'm pretty sure this one is leaving and I'm so sad because I love these. So um, I'm going to use them because they're going to be leaving soon. <laughs> I don't want them to go away but they are and I got a little bit of my coffee left. And I don't have nothing prepped, but what else is new? Like I said, I, I just opened my box of goodies like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so I've, I've used this die recently, so let's pass on that. I kind of maybe, you know, use the seahorse. I haven't used him in a while. The darker one looks like Earth from a satellite, so the sea stuff. So you guys are saying this one? Use this one? We can do that. I like this one too. It's really pretty. Okay. Move that off to the side. Okay, so what colors do we have in this DSP? Uh, what do I do with the backboard here? Because I want to make sure I'm matching. And I did add some more colors to my last order. So I think I have, now I have Pacific Point and I have Crushed Curry now. So um, we have Clips of Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight. I don't have that one. Green Apple Green. I don't have that one, but Pear Pizzazz, close enough. Night and Navy, Pacific Point, and Petal Pink. I have those. So. I think this would look good with um, a Night and Navy card base with maybe a Coastal Cabana mat. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to go score at four and a quarter and cut at five and a half for my Night and Navy card base. Um, I've, been, I've been working with the, these colors over the past couple of days because I've been using my new waves of inspiration. Okay, so let's do a four by five and a quarter. And then for the DSP, I'm going to do 3.75 by 5. Oh my gosh. Is two packs of this enough? I don't know. Like, you don't have to use this with just the Tide, like the sea stuff, but I think it's going to look gorgeous. So, we got that, we got that, we got that. I need, uh, what do I have? I have a piece of white. I have some inserts already cut down for the inside. Um, I think, let's do a seahorse. I might have to uninstall Facebook and reinstall it again because I'm not getting comments. Hi, is it Zana or Zana? Can you um, pronounce your name like syllables so I can, I don't want to butcher your name. I want to say it's Zana. So 
So let's do the seahorse. And I think I'm gonna cut him out in, what color would look good with this, you think? I'm thinking maybe a green. We have a little bit of green in this paper. I don't have Granny Apple Green, but we can do Pear Pizzazz. That'll work. That's close enough. Close enough. Okay, so I have my Sadie off to the side. I'm going to cut this out and we'll be right back. Horse. Oh yeah, I forgot about all these little bits that come out. Um, my, I have a foam, a foam mat somewhere. What did I do with it? No, right here. And that's not working too well. Oh, maybe I have to make two passes on this. Okay, let me try it again. So when you use this die, it doesn't actually cut out the whole thing, but if you take your snips, okay, if you take your snips, you can, separate him from, because I kind of like him not attached. And, okay, so where do I have to, okay, and then we'll go, I'm trying to do this without bending it, okay, because I want him detached from the cardstock. Ooh, Steph, really? Yeah, I think if I, maybe, uh, my tablet's old too, so who knows, but. Um, I think I might try uninstalling Facebook and reinstalling it because I feel like I go through this every time I try to do a Facebook Live. And when I can't see comments, like, it just, I don't like it. And I don't want to have to keep, you know, putting my hand in everybody's face to... If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. Okay, so I think I'm going to run this die through I don't even know if this is available anymore I want to say it's leaving and not coming back um, so let's use it while I can Okay, so we have our seahorse with a little bit of texture on him. So now I think we need a white piece, maybe a circle, and that will kind of look like a bubble. For um, We need a sentiment on the card. So... have to 
be a circle. Let's see. Oh, you know what else is leaving us? The Hippo and Friends dies is leaving. So let's use something from here. Because I want to have a last play at some of this stuff. Um, I don't want to go too, too big. Because I don't want to cover up. Um, I don't want to cover up a lot of this uh, designer series paper. Um, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking I want to do a white piece. Maybe we'll use this one. And then the seahorse can kind of go on top of that. And maybe we'll add some more elements. We have, oh, this is one set that is staying, which I'm very happy about, which is the friends are like seashells. So maybe we'll do um, a sand dollar and maybe some seaweed or something. And we'll we'll layer that on the bottom and then we'll have a, a sentiment. I think that would look good. Back out, back in. I know, Steph, but I, I, I just like to see what you guys are saying. You know? Zana. Okay, thank you. Thank you for pronouncing that for me. I, I don't want to butcher your name. Okay, so let's grab this. And what did I do with I have more dies here, some oh my table's a mess already. Okay. Um I don't know what I did. Oh here. So we have the um we also have the sea life dies that are going away. I'm really going to miss this one here. Okay, so I need a piece of basic white. And I lost my die for the sand dollar. It's gone bye-bye. And I've searched my garbage cans. Cannot find it anywhere. So I'm just going to stamp and fussy cut it out, I think. So I have a green seahorse. Um, I think the sand dollar, I think I'm going to do that in the Night and Navy because my card base is Night and Navy. Okay, so. And I know I lost the die to this, but this is fairly easy to cut out. So it's not that big of a deal. I almost wiped my stamp on my dimensionals. Huh? Okay, so. So let's do um, a sand dollar. And let's cut out some. I have. Some seaweed dyes here, maybe a, a couple of sprigs of the seaweed. This one would be good. Let's do this one. This is the sea dyes, and I think I'm going to do that in I think I'm going to do that in the green as well. I think I'm going to do one in green and one in. Coastal Cabana. Yeah, that would look good. And I got a bunch of scraps here, so I'm just going to cut two or three of these out. I'd be right back.
And I like this seaweed because it's not too big and not too small. I think it'll frame a sentiment nicely. Let's do two green and one coastal. No, let's do two coastal cabana and one green. And I really got to get better at bringing my dies back to the table because I think that's how they're going missing. And put it over there. Okay. So let's close this in pad. Go back out. Come back in. <laughs> okay. What did I do with my scissors? Hi, Penny. Hi, Blanca. My ex coworker, I miss you. Okay, so like I said, I lost I lost the die to this, so I'm just gonna fussy cut this out. Thank goodness it's an easy one to do. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border. Let me guess, Blanca, am I back on the big screen at your work? Okay, so then I need to take a piece of basic white and hippo dyes are leaving. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to run this through Sadie. some more stuff to this who knows oh I know the insert I this is seize the day this is leaving sad sad so there's a the seaweed dye that I like to stamp on the inside of my cards and I think I'm going to do that in the pair of And I love this stamp, it's distinctive. I'm just grabbing some scrap paper. Okay, oh, that side's got stuff on it already. Okay, so, pair possess. Does my camera look okay? Like, does my camera look fr like too close, or do I need to move it up? Okay, so let's go like that. Stamp, stamp off, and do another one. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So easy. Okay, I'm just gonna. I got my chamois off to the side. I need to clean as I go. and it makes uh, cleaning up later easier. Okay. So there is the inside. Done. Done, done. Back out, back in. Okay, I missed a comment from Blanca. The camera is good, camera is good. Okay, perfect. Okay. All I caught Blanca was I have a box. Uh, uh, I have a box from Rain, Rain, Rena. Rena. Yeah, Rena. I don't. I didn't see what you said before that. But 
I loved your cards last night, Gail. I was not thinking about that set, but of course I am now, so thanks a lot. Okay. Just need my glue eraser. Oh, like I got my little order today, and I'm like, I got off at two. I'm going to do a live tonight. I got to get back into it. Okay, so I'm in frame. Okay. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. That's going to go on there like that. I'm probably going to, oh, this is going to be fun popping this up. There's not much um, space behind him, but we will, we will figure it out. Or I cl could glue this down, glue this down, and then pop up my seahorse or my, my sand dollar. And then we have some I'm not uh, organized like Gail. I don't, uh, well, sometimes I do prep, but not too often, eh? A, okay, so. Maybe we'll go like that. We're gonna have to do a small sentiment, I think, because, but anyway, this is what I was thinking. Something like that. And something like that. And I can trim these off. And then just we'll do a sentiment on this. And then we'll add some rhinestones. What do you think? Does that look all right? I gotta figure out what sentiment am I gonna do? It's gonna have to be small, I think. So we have love you to the beach and back. We have seize the day. I'm going to miss some of these ocean sets, you guys. Um, I think these are all too big. I don't know. I kind of wanted to do something oceany. So. I wonder if I can fit Wishing You Oceans of Happiness on there somewhere. That's kind of cute. I'm your A girl. Too funny. I do say A a lot though, but that's what happens when you live in Canada. Okay, my um, my stamps are really stuck to my case. I gotta try to get it off without damaging it. Okay, so wishing you oceans of happiness. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze that on there somewhere. Cause I think that's really cute. What color do you think I should do the sentiment? Do you like navy? Knight in navy? What is the thing in Seize the Day, top right image? I believe it's a jellyfish. Which we also have, we also have a jellyfish um, in the Whale Done set too. You would swap the weed around? It looks submerged with the seahorse. Oh, you mean like move it, move it over here? What if I go Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, and then we'll have him, I could have the seaweed in front of him, and then have the sand dollar, I'll play around with it. Or I can just do two seaweed. If you only make one pass with the seahorse, all those bits probably would have stayed in. That's why I cut it again. What did I do with it? 
because I have this seahorse and those bits aren't coming out. So let's just see what this looks like. Here I am changing my mind again. What I do best, right? And then we won't see that white in the back, the background. What do you think about that? Okay. And I'm still going to run it through the Okay, because it would be kind of cool for those bits to stay in, I guess, right? Watch, this card's going to take me an hour. <laughs> okay, separate, separate. I mean, some of the bits came out, some of them didn't. I'm okay with that. Maybe I'll... Just poke these ones out and leave the rest of them in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My allergies have been really bad this week. So you know the weather's getting nicer, right? What do you think? I don't know. Now that I got him cut out, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Do you like this one or do you like this one? Back out, come back in. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> I think it looks funny with the bits stuck in there, don't you think? Now that I, I'm looking at it on camera. But, he would be easier to pop up. And on camera, it's hard to see, like, the pieces that do fall out, but... I think I like this one better. It's going to be trickier, but... I think he'll look better. Okay, so now I need to stamp my sentiment, and I think I'm going to just have to do it near the top. Well, I'll just have to move my stuff around it. What do you think? Like, have it right about here? I'll try to get it straight. And I have not used this sentiment yet. And I think it'll look really cute. Okay, I really need to re-ink this ink pad. Okay. It's too faded. And it's bugging me. Oh, I got eight people watching. The last time I used this night at Navy, I'm like, oh, I have to re-ink this, and then I never get around to it, so doing it now. Okay. Push that ink down with something. Oh, I got a spoon, a little plastic spoon. I don't even know why this is in my room, but yay, it'll work. Okay. okay, maybe that will look better. Watch, I probably made it too inky. That's better. Okay, let's put this right here. And hope it's straight. Yay! Where's my needle chamois? Okay. 
Oh, I got no room on my table. Okay. And you can also, I could also like stamp some seaweed on here too, right? Um. Well, I have it mounted, so why not? Why not? And then I can just add this stuff. It'll just be more dimension, don't you think? And it'll fill up some of that white space too. That's probably good. Okay, back up, back. Yeah, I gotta figure this tablet out because it's. I missed you guys too. Oh, what do these look like layered, you mean? If I put one on top of the other, is that what you mean? Because I could put some mini dimensionals behind these areas, and I could put one on top of the other. I could do that. That's a good idea, actually. We'll play around. We will figure it out together. Okay, so these are all my little... Okay, let me glue these pieces down first. Okay. Am I in frame? Okay, make sure I stay in frame. Because I'm a bit rusty, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna, let's do another Facebook Live this Saturday. And even if I do have to change up the times, I'll post on my Facebook page. Like, I'll try to post a couple hours in advance to give you guys a head up or not. But I'm going to try to do every Saturday. Whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening. Because I, I, I don't normally work Saturdays, so. Saturdays should work. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. This paper just makes the card. And I'm just glad that I can still use it while it's still available. Well, in Canada, it's still available. So I'll have to post this live to my Facebook page tonight. But you could do just seaweed, like we have, we have, like, look at this seaweed, if I can get it out of the package. You could just, you know, add some seaweed and a sentiment, and like, there's a, a gorgeous card, just because of the paper. Just because of the paper. Okay, so I'm just going to... Um, I just want to see what this looks like. Yeah, I might have to do what De De Deborah suggested. Layer these two. So let me grab my mini dimensionals. And there's not a lot of space to work with, but I'll just add a couple. All right, where are you mini dimensionals? I know I have some in here, there we go, okay. So, add one there. Add one here. And add a little strip. Yeah, I'm gonna layer them. And I think that's a great, great idea, Deborah. Layer them. And then I'm going to add another little piece. I mean, this is going to be tedious, but I think it's going to be worth it. And I'm not parting with any of my sea themed items. I'm just, I'm not. 
not for at least a year at least a year okay so I'm gonna doesn't have to be exact try to line these up somewhat but I think that is amazing back out back in you know check stuff it might still be available it is in Canada right the paper's still available in Canada did you say that's uh, Zana I'm sorry I missed that I'm, I'm not seeing all the comments I have to keep coming out and going back in and then this one I can I can pop up if I want I think okay so I know I want to glue my sentiment down so let's do that and I might not have to pop him up because he's he's already got a little bit of dimension going on then I can pop this oh, look I'm going to cover all that seaweed up here let's go maybe down here a little bit and then just have a little bit of seaweed pe peeking up from the um, sand dollar like that what do you think you think that's good enough you don't want to I don't want to go too too crazy so let's glue him down And even just layering the two with just a few dimensionals. So I'm going to move him like closer to the edge, like that. It does look good, doesn't it? Okay, so I can. I want to have the Costa Cabana next to my seahorse. You could also like have it over the seahorse and then glue it down and then it's kind of a little dimensional that way too. Oh, okay, I'm getting too much over my sentiment here. So let's cut these stems off and then glue these down and then I can put my sand dollar on top. Have it so it doesn't cover my sentiment and then we'll add some rhinestones and then I think this card is done and I like I actually like having the stamped seaweed on there too and then the sand dollar we can actually layer in between the two seahorses and pop up with dimensionals. That works for me. Okay, so I gotta figure out how I want this because oh I can put dimensionals on the whole thing. like that and 
Do you think that's good? Or should I add a star or a starfish right here or leave it? I think I kind of like it like this. So I have clear rhinestones. Um, let's color the rhinestones in with the Coastal Cabana. Oh, do I have Coastal Cabana blends? I don't, but I have Pool Party. Oh, I have Bermuda Bay. Let's do Bermuda Bay. Let's see what we got here. And let's try the light. Light Bermuda Bay. So let's do two little and one large. Oh, that'll look nice. Yeah. So what did I do with my, take your pick, take your pick. Yeah, I got to get my card classes back up and running too. Um, I mean, COVID's still here, but we got to learn to live with it, right? Um, so do I want to put the rhinestones on just the sentiment or do I want to scatter it all around? Let's see. Let's go one, two, and we'll put one right in the middle of that white spot. There. This card is done. Done, done. I really like it. I think it turned out really good. Are you talking about the, um, the dies? Thank you, Penny. I know. I, I love mixing and matching sets. So that's why I'm not going to part with my C stuff. You may see me from time to time pulling in a retired set and using it with a new set. I mean, I know I'm not established, right? But it's fun to mix and match and play. And I love Stampin' Up! Like, I, I, I will only really promote Stampin' Up! on my channel, but I love mixing new with old. I still have the Walrus set. I can't part with that either. But I love this seahorse. Love, love, love. So maybe I'll take a little bit of oh, Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to add just a little bit around my sentiment and just a little bit on my sand dollar. Yeah. That looks so good. Yeah, there's lots of Facebook um, Stampin' Up! selling sites that there's lots of demonstrators selling their retired stuff. And where where this is going to be ending with the, the mini, you could probably find somebody that's going to sell it. Not me, maybe in a year or two, but anyway, so that's the inside. And that is the outside. I love this paper. All right, so let's make another card. Let's see. Put this up out of the way so it doesn't get ruined, and we can bring that back later. Um, for anybody who didn't see my last video, there's some cards that I made with the waves of inspiration, and I pretty much did a different card in each color. I just haven't done the new blue yet because I only got that today. But isn't that pretty? Like simple, simple, simple. So I can use this set again and we can use the same background paper and do another card that way. Let's do that. Okay, so um, 
I think I still have that set up on my Stamparatus. Okay. So, okay, I just gotta get some of this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so let's use, let's, you know what? I wanna use this new blue. So, I think the first thing I need is a piece of, um, This is going to be bigger than what I need, but I'll cut it down later. Um, let's use. Okay, I got I want to see which paper matches that new blue the best because we're going to do that. I want to use the new blue. And it's so pretty. It's it so reminds me of Tempting Turquoise, my favorite color. And of course, I went and sold all of my retired stuff when I first joined, so I would have money to buy Stampin' Up stuff. Part of me regrets selling some of my colors because Tempting Turquoise was my favorite. So I'm really happy to have this um, Tahitian Tide. It's called. Back out, back in. So, oh, what did I do? Crud. Crud. Yeah, eBay is another good place to buy um, Stampin' Up! stuff, too. I, I know most of the demonstrators don't show the retired stuff. You know, they, they want to only show the current stuff because if you make people want stuff that's retired I mean it's kind of a bummer but I don't know I like mixing new with old that's just me so I'm gonna see I mean the paper that we just used actually would go with this too really um, and I think Oh wait, no, this, this one has more, this one has a little bit more blue in it, so maybe we'll use this one, okay. So I'm going to cut this down to, oh that's too small, that's right, okay, so let's go Four by five and a quarter. Because there's more blue in this piece than the other piece. Okay, so we have that. Um, I'm going to do the card base with this. So let's go four and a quarter. Score by five and a half. Cut. Well, I need more sympathy cards too, so I think this waves of inspiration is great for sympathy cards too. Okay, so that's going to go there like that. So let's stamp. And I have this backwards because I was doing something else with it. Um, oh, I got to clean that off. Where did you go, Shammy? Okay. Back up, back in. Okay, so I just, I used Night and Navy last time, so I definitely gotta clean this off. I got so much ink on me from making these cards the other day. Like, look, look at me. Like, I'm, I'm covered. Okay. 
covered, covered with ink. Okay, so I should, okay, I gotta move that over. Because I am going to be cutting this down, so. I think right about there is good. And this is going to be really juicy because I have not used this ink pad yet. So I'm just going to do light tap. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Oh, this is definitely going to be my favorite. Okay. Definitely. Look at that. Okay. So I definitely don't need to re-ink because that's a pretty juicy image right there. Okay. Don't want that for now. Don't want that for now. Now, do I have any more inserts done for my card? Inserts. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so I have to cut another insert. Or is one of these pieces big enough? Let's see. Oh, my dog is barking. <laughs> he hears something, which... It's me down here making noise. So if you can hear him barking, I apologize. Like, definitely nobody getting in this house without you knowing about it. It's quite the little cujo when it comes to hearing stuff. What? Five and a quarter. Plus he hears me down here talking. Okay, so that's for the inside. You know what else would look good? Maybe a matte layer of granny apple green. And then cut this down a little bit. You know, I don't do it very often, but I'm going to do it. Let me grab another piece of gray apple green. Oh, gray apple green. Oh, I need pizzazz. I don't own gray apple green. So pear pizzazz it is. Or oh, maybe, maybe I'll just do a... Uh, Oh, yeah, I think a pair of pizzazz card base is going to look better than... I think it, it'll pop more. So I'm changing my mind. Last minute. Okay. Which is what I do best, right? Right. So I have lots of card bases for future cards. Card base insert. I think yes. I think I like the pair of It's it's a little off, but I'm okay with that. Um, this I think I'm gonna. What did I use last time? I used. I still have it here. Let me see. Yes, I do. Okay, so I have the stitched rectangles. And I'm going to go the third size in. Because the last card I made, I, I did second size in, but I want to see more of this background paper. Hi, Melanie! I'm sorry, I my, my comments aren't working. I have to keep going out and coming back in. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to cut this out and I will be right back. I just have Sadie off to the side.
I don't know. I'm thinking Pacific Point might match better. What do you think? But there is a lot of blue in this paper. There's lots of different shades. No, I think I'm going to keep it. Because we can always add... I don't know. I th Let me see. The easiest thing probably would just be to switch out the paper. I just want something that's going to look good with this color. I mean, I can redo it, but I've, I've already... I'm bad for changing my mind, people. Okay. This has a little bit more Coastal Cabana in it, which I think will look better. So let's go like this. And I can use that on another card. Not a problem. I will use up all this paper. Easy peasy. Okay. So there's that. I think that'll look a little bit better. Okay. So let's do that. insert so um, it'll probably look good with I'm just thinking um, I'm yeah the paper makes Great masculine cards. Oh, you do, staff. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so happy to see all you guys here. I really appreciate it. Okay, so. No, I might be changing my mind again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very indecisive. Can you tell? So we have a little bit of the Calypso Coral peeking through here. So I think I would like to add a Coral Calypso element. And that could be like a sentiment. Or, what else do we have here? Let me see. I don't want to add fish. I have this coral, but I think it, it's going to be way too big. And that's going to overpower my card. This is me winging it. I don't want any of those on there. Oh, I love the octopus, but he definitely wouldn't work. I gotta look at these dies again, just a second. Maybe, maybe a seashell. I think would look nice. Okay, I gotta find my dies. So we have these dies here. Ooh, maybe we can add some clouds. What do you think? Maybe I'll cut out some clouds. We have, this is the uh, the waves waves dies, and we have a couple of clouds. I'm going to cut these out. Because I have not used these yet, so let's see what they look like. And I got lots of white scraps here. Okay, 
I don't know. Might not like this, but it might be cool. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, so there. What do you think? I, I mean, I, I would definitely pop those up. And then we could do like a, we could add a sentiment on the bottom of the waves. And maybe a, I'm thinking a seashell. There's this little seashell. Because I think I want to add a little bit of Coastal Cabana. I think that would bring out the orange in the paper. I know, Steph. <laughs> Maybe prepped. Well, actually, I do have a couple of uh, videos on YouTube that are prepped. They're not as funny as the winging it videos. <laughs> so we have a starfish, and there's a little seashell. Let's do. Let's add those. Okay. Now I need to find the stamp set. I've got to stamp them before I can cut them out. Oops, okay, I gotta get this back in here before I lose some dies. Okay. And try to keep track of which dies came out of which set because I've messed that up before too. Okay, seahorse I can put away. I don't need him no more. I just gotta get some of this mess out of the way. You guys are used to me winging it, right? Yeah. Okay, so, I need to find that stamp. Oh, there it is, okay. So, let's do the starfish and the seashell. Okay, don't lose my clouds. And then we'll have to figure out a sentiment. Okay, I need some more. Some more blocks. Uh, let's do the seashell. Oh wait, no, I want the little one. I need the little one. Okay. And starfish. Um, I think I'll do the starfish in the. Um. Oh, I gotta grab my clipsal coral. Okay, is this that? Oh, I have Melon Mambo, and I haven't used it yet either. So maybe, I don't know. I, I got to figure out what I'm going to use Saturday first before I can decide that. Okay. Oh, my out of frame. Let me get back. Okay, so let's do the Starfish and Calypso Coral. Oh, that's going to look really good. Okay, okay where'd you go, Shammy? I need you, Shammy. There'll be times where I'm prepped and there'll, there'll be times where I'm winging it. Probably more times than not, but. Um, so, I think Coastal Cabana would look good with the seashell because we have that in the DSP in behind. that and then I'll um, run these over to Sadie and cut them out okay. try not to lose my dies okay let's see if I can line these up starfish is a little tricky Oh, it 
Oh, I had it and I lost it. Okay. Let's cut that out. Actually, I'll just put them in my pile. Okay, so. Dink, dink. Okay. So that's going to go there like that. That's going to go there like that. We can, you know, maybe. I think I might want to have them more down, like in the bottom corner. I'm going to have a cloud here, a cloud here, and I think I'm going to cut out a piece of basic white um, for the sentiment. And I think I want to use a cute little label die. So we have the tasteful label dies. And I'm sure there's something in here that would look good. Oh yeah, look, we have we have little circular dies. We have this cute little half banner. So that's gonna go down there like that. gonna go up there so a little half banner peeking in with the sentiment on it would look cute and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that in white too just to and we can always ink the edges Now, what sentiment? It's going to have to be small for that to work. So, back out, back in. Hi, June! Well, some people just like to prep, you know. I, I don't mind prepping. I mean, I've done it. Not very often, but I've done it. It's good to see you, June. I can see your comments, so that's good. That's that. That's good, because normally you usually have problems, don't you, with people seeing your comments? Okay, so that's gonna go down there. We'll probably pop up the starfish. Um, I'll probably pop up the sentiment. I just gotta figure out what am I gonna do for a sentiment. Um, it's going to be something small, so I might have to ooh, take a look at some of these. Well, we have to seize the day. That's pretty small. And it's oceany. Will it fit on here? See, I have not used this set hardly at all because my stamps are not coming off my stamp case. And the set is leaving. Yeah. 
No, I think it's too high. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. I might have to look at my other stamp sets for sentiments, guys. Because these are all going to be too big. Too big. Okay, let me just quickly glance at my other stamp sets here. I need a small sentiment. Ooh, maybe this one. And this one is carrying over. Um, this is Inspired Thoughts. Uh, the dies did not return, but these are leaving. Uh, the, the stamps are staying the the tree dies are leaving. Um, what did I say I was going to use? <laughs> I don't even know if that'll fit. No, okay. But there is one on here that will. You make you make a difference every day. That will fit. And I haven't used this one yet, so why not? We'll use it. You make a difference every day. Um, what color should I do the sentiment, you think? I'm almost thinking Pacific Point to bring in that blue in the background. And I haven't used that color much. Good to see you, June, and everybody. Okay. Uh, back out, back. Oops. Oh, now I've gone and done it. Okay, I lost you all. Just a sec. I'll get you back. I'll get you back. Okay. I am going to uninstall Facebook and reinstall it on this tablet because I'm not seeing no comments. Okay, so... My first time using this sentiment, so I like to stamp off on scrap first. Because I don't want no mess ups. I mean, I can re, re die cut this, it's no big deal, but. Okay. And I think this is just gonna fit. Oh, I went too low. I can tell already. Okay. I gotta redo it. That is not, um, that's not, um, no, not gonna, not gonna happen on my watch. Okay. Because I'm selling these cards. Oops. Now what did I do with those dies? Oh. Oh my goodness, I keep moving stuff around. Do, do, do. Okay, so seaside. I got I got too much stuff out of it, that's the problem. I hauled out way too much. Okay. Tasteful label dies, here you are. Yeah, Pacific Point will definitely tie in that darker blue, I think. Okay, I gotta cut this out again. Maybe I will stamp. And then cut out the sentiment. That might be the way to do it. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Okay, am I in frame? Okay, and I'm just gonna. Oh, my dog is barking again. I'm so sorry. I gotta, I gotta get a baby wipe. Just hold on. Okay. 
Now I gotta wipe my hands off here. Uh, messy. Okay, I gotta move some of this to the side. Because I've got no room for nothing. So let's get this card together. And I did have a piece for the inside, did I not? I thought I cut that already. Oh my goodness, okay. That's easy to redo, right? So, let's put a strip of this paper on the inside because it's so gorgeous. Okay. And bring my trimmer back up. I'm going to do a strip of the Coastal Cabana. Oh, so pretty. Okay. I got all my pieces off to this. Oh, well, they're all over the place. Did you get the new colors? Only the only the the new Tahitian Tide, the blue. That's the only one I got. It was the only one that really I fell in love with, and they're only around for two years. So, um, like the last in colors, Evening Evergreen was the only one I bought out of all of them because I really liked it. Um, yeah, Tahitian Tide was the only one I've, I've gotten. Now, maybe my next order I might get um, the pack of cardstock that has all the different colors in it. <laughs> okay, so there's the inside, just a strip of the DSP. Easy peasy. So I don't know if you um, were here for the chat earlier, but I'm going to try to go live every Saturday. The time might not always be the same, but I'll try to post a couple hours in advance of when I plan on going live. I don't normally work Saturdays, so I think Saturdays will be the better day to do it. Because my, my schedule kept changing. So, and I want to do it the same day every week, right? So, okay. Oh, I think Dave's brother's here. That's why the dog was barking. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. Do I want to pop? The, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna glue this down because I'm gonna pop up my clouds and pop up my sentiment. So let's glue this down. Okay. okay. So my clouds are going to be popped up. I'm going to find my dimensionals in the months amongst this mess. There we go. <laughs> That's your OCD stuff, is it? Yeah. Okay, I just can't afford to get everything. I'd like to, but... I got so much stuff that's retiring that I've only used a couple times, so... I really got to crack down and just... A lot of stuff carried over, so you'll, you'll be seeing me use last year's stuff. Okay, so we're going to pop up the clouds and pop up the sentiment and pop up the, probably the starfish. Okay. Gosh. 
I'd show you my table, Drew, but you would say it was immaculate. And it's really not. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Okay, so. Just using up some of my bits, my edge pieces. This will probably be the last card. I don't even know what time it is, but when I wing it, it always tends to go long. Okay, so. I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to my wave. Okay, no. And I don't know if this color will bleed. I know on some of the darker colors. But I find on the lighter colors it seems to be fine. It just, yeah. Like Pacific Point and Night of Navy. When I ran the Wink of Stella over the wave, they, 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 they bled. Not so much with this color. So that's good to know. Okay. Your sad cinnamon cider is gone. I didn't get I didn't have that one either. Didn't have that one either. Okay, so that can go in the garbage because that was crooked as old, you know. Yeah, let's add some clouds. Those are cute clouds, too. I should look at the stamp set again. Let me see. No, no clouds. Okay. Oh, we could have added we could have added a a pelican off to the side. Would have been cute too. Okay, let's add this. Okay, so I think I'm going to have my sentiment lined up with the, the edge of the DSP. Like that. And then I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to glue down the shell and pop up the starfish. And just kind of have those down in the corner. And I think I'm just going to put one dimensional in the middle. That should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, and I'm going to angle that like that. Now, do I want to add rhinestones or do you think that is enough? I'll let you guys decide. Yeah, it's late where you are, Steph, because you're four hours ahead of me. Yeah, four hours. I think I'm going to add Wink of Stella. Do I want to add Wink of Stella to my clouds? No, maybe not. I think just the wave. Should I add some bling bling? Well, I don't have blue rhinestones, but what I can do is color the clear rhinestones. That's if I can find what I did with them. I just had them not that long ago. Okay. They are here somewhere. There they are. So, what do you think? What color blue should I color these? I Let me see what blue um, Stampin' Up! blends I have. So, I have Night of Navy. Balmy blue and the new Tahitian Tide. 
That's the color I have for Stampin' Up! lens. Get some of this stuff out of the way. So what color do you think I should do? That's not a lot of blue, that's only three colors. I have the light and dark of each one. Night and navy, the light or dark. I'm thinking the dark. Let's do the dark. So we will do, oh, I only got one large rhinestone left. So let's do a large. A medium and a small. I don't think they're going to be too dark because that that Pacific point is pretty pretty dark, and I don't find the the blends on the rhinestones are that dark. That's why I went with the dark instead of the light. Okay, so. Oh, I probably got ink all over my face. I just touched myself. Okay, so let's go. Whoops. Let's go. I'm going to go off the paper and I like to do kind of like a triangle. So let's put the other one maybe down here on the seashell. What do you think? Or down here. There. I think that looks good. I got so much stuff on my table. Such a mess going on. Okay. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Don't need my spoon anymore. Get that out of the way. Okay. There. There. I'm a little bit cleaned up. <laughs> so there is card number two. I just love the ocean stuff. A mail card, I would probably do like all Pacific Point or you could do like gray, like all grays would be nice. Just a strip of the paper on the inside for this one. And then the first card we did, which I think is my favorite, is this one. And I like them both like them both. Hi, G Ann. Yeah, I'm going to start doing lives every week. And I think, well, I, I, I popped on tonight because um, I got a little Stampin' Up! order today. So I thought I'd jump on tonight. But I don't work Saturdays. So I think I'm going to try to push for um, lives on Saturday. Um, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, I, I will post in the morning when I plan to go live. And try to narrow it down that way, but I think I'm going to start doing every Saturdays because I, I I really miss doing them. I got to get back into it again. I've been slacking off. Thank you, everybody. And if if you can't catch the live, you can just watch the replay. I usually upload them to YouTube, so you'll be able to catch them later. No problem. I'm happy to do it. I just really wanted to play with this paper while it's still available. Well, in Canada it is. Um, in the States or the UK, I, I don't know if it is, but I love the paper. Love it, love it. Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 I promise I'll try to do like every Saturday. Sometimes I'll be prepped, sometimes I won't. What time is it here now? 
Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.42 p.m. 7.42 p.m. 7.42 p.m. So I've been on for an hour and 42 minutes and I got two cards done. <laughs> I'm starting off right where I left off. Thank you, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. Nice to see you. I know, right? All right, I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you guys on Saturday. What time yet? I'm not sure, but I will, I will post it on my page when I figure it out. Okay, so if you're watching the replay on YouTube, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow me. Have a great day, everybody.